Hi everyone, welcome back to Joanne Tech Lover. I'm Joanne, and I'll be taking a look at this Atron Vision AVQ 270S 27-inch WQHD LED monitor. And this monitor's refresh rate can be overclocked up to 120 hertz, but that depends on your graphics card too. Let's dive in. Here's what comes in the box. First up is the user manual. It goes into detail about the monitor functions and specs. You get a dual link DVI cable. Atron recommends using this cable or display port cable for overclocking the monitor. Included is an audio cable. You can use this cable to connect the monitor to your PC and use the built-in speakers on the monitor. Of course, you'll need the power adapter and cord. There's also an optional remote for the monitor that's sold separately. This is for easy navigation of the monitor menu. Here's the stand base that comes with the monitor. To attach it, remove the screw at the base of the stem. Then simply slide the base onto the stem and proceed to secure the attachment with the previous screw. The frame and bezel of the monitor are made of plastic with glossy borders, and even some brushed finish on the bottom edge. This monitor comes with a 27-inch anti-glare flicker-free AHVA panel. The AHVA stands for Advanced Hyper Viewing Angle. This type of panel falls under the IPS category and offers similar performance to PLS. It has a 2560 by 1440 WQHD or Wide Quad HD resolution and is capable of virtual 4K, but you'll need to enable your resolution through your video card's control panel. Now let's take a look at the button functions located on the bottom right of the screen. These are the icons located directly above the physical executable buttons. From left to right is the LOS button, hotkey, source and back key, menu and select control, volume and down button, and aspect ratio and up button. The power button is next to that. The LOS button is for selecting line of sight mode. When you enable LOS, a crosshair should appear in the middle of the screen. This static image of a crosshair is meant to assist FPS gamers when shooting. The hotkey will allow you to toggle between a preset display mode and standard mode. The source key changes the display connectivity mode. Here's a close-up of the menu command. You can play with the brightness setting, as well as the contrast, and here's the ego hotkey options. The three low blue light modes can be found here. They help reduce retinal damage. The dynamic contrast can be turned on or off, and this is where you change the LOS patterns. There's an option to change the horizontal and vertical positions of the display. Let's say you're using a VGA cable, and the image doesn't completely fill the monitor, and you get black borders around the image. This feature will allow you to move the position of the screen either vertically or horizontally. Here's where you can toggle the color temp to your liking. And these are the language and OSD settings. Below that are the reset and auto power down options. Finally, we have the miscellaneous section where you'll find the source and volume settings. Here's a look at the volume control, and you can change the aspect ratio one of two ways. There's a tilt function available on this monitor. You can tilt it negative five degrees to positive five degrees. I of course prefer viewing the display somewhere in the middle. The display ports are located on the back of the monitor. At the top edge is a DisplayPort 1.2 port, and beneath that a D-sub connector. There's also a dual link DVI connector and HDMI 1.4 port next to that. And here's the audio port, followed by the power port. Some of you will be happy to know that there's also a Visa mount located on the back of the panel. And there's two 5 watt speakers located beneath the Visa mount. Here's a volume demo on max, just so you get an idea of how the monitor speakers sound. It is not yet clear what has caused this gruesome affliction. The local government's Ministry of Defense erected a quarantine pool shortly after the outbreak. Let's take a look at some of the specs. You get a contrast ratio of 1000 to 1, and 4 millisecond response time gray to gray. The refresh rate out of the box is 60 hertz, but you can overclock it to 120 hertz. This monitor has a 100% color recall rate and 100% sRGB, so you should get rich, vibrant colors. You also get 178 degrees for both horizontal viewing as well as vertical viewing. Here's a demo of BF4 on the 60 hertz setting and 140 hertz setting side by side. I decided to go from 120 hertz to 140 hertz because I could. During gameplay on 140 hertz, my eyes could not detect any tearing or lag on the display. I was very pleased with how fluid the gaming experience was. And here's the demo of Dying Light on the 60 hertz setting and 140 hertz setting. I played campaign and the story took forever to take off, so I'm just showing you the high speed parkour section. There's a lot of running, turning, jumping, and backpedaling in this part of the gameplay. It was really fun, and I wish I was so agile and strong in real life. Once again, my eyes believed it was a seamless, flawless gaming experience, which was awesome. Since the Atron AVQ270S does not come with adaptive sync, with a refresh rate of 120Hz or 140Hz, it might be a good idea to disable VSync. 
A high refresh rate of 120Hz or 140Hz would reduce tearing even with VSync disabled. If you're confused about VSync and Adaptive Sync, check out my video on JTL, detailing the differences between FreeSync, G-Sync, and everything in between. That wraps it up for this look at the Atron Vision AVQ270S 27-inch WQHD LED monitor. I would definitely recommend it, and it's a 5 out of 5 stars from me, and you can buy it off of Amazon, Newegg, Tiger Direct, and eBay. If you like what you saw and you want to see more like it, be sure to hit the like, comment, and subscribe buttons, as well as follow me on social media. Join Tech Lover Facebook, join Tech Lover again on Twitter, and join Tech Lover once more on Instagram. Also, be sure to check out my other YouTube channels, JTL Lifestyle and JTL Cuteness Overload. I guess all that's left to say is bye!